Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. You can send your questions to the address that I will give at the end of this broadcast. Please keep those questions Bible related. We have a question today from a listener who writes, is it necessary for me to find a church to physically attend in order to fulfill Hebrews 10, verses 24 and 25. Well, let me read Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. The Bible says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. This is an admonition from God to have fellowship with other Christians. The specific question was, is it necessary for me to find a church to physically attend in order to fulfill these verses? And the short answer to that question is no, it is not necessary for you to find a church to physically attend to fulfill these scriptures. There have been many times throughout the church age, throughout church history, where for one reason or another, Christians were unable to gather at a physical church for many different reasons. And even today, although there are a lot of quote-unquote churches scattered throughout at least America, it is often difficult and in some cases literally impossible to find a church that glorifies God by teaching the pure word of God. Modern evangelicalism, to a great extent, has degenerated into a worldly, lukewarm system that is actually dangerous in many cases to the spiritual welfare of the people that attend. So it is difficult, and as I said, some cases impossible to find a church that glorifies God by teaching the pure word of God. So many churches today specialize in unbiblical, charismatic craziness where the sky is the limit. It is a system without boundaries because they don't know the word of God. They're not taught the word of God. They're not interested in the word of God. They're interested in, I had a dream, I had a vision, and they are all over the spiritual map into different heresies that go way beyond the boundaries of Scripture, and that is very dangerous. And then, of course, you have the word of faith heresy, which is witchcraft, and then you have a watered-down, entertainment-focused version of Bible teaching or sermons in some of those modern evangelical churches. It is not only unwise and unbiblical to attend and support things like that, but it is spiritually dangerous because they do give a form of godliness, a pseudo-Christianity that can lull people to sleep spiritually, but they deny the true power thereof, which is Holy Scripture, the pure written word of God. That's the power of God unto salvation and sanctification. But so often it's replaced with entertainment, charismatic craziness, heresies like word of faith, watered down sermons that never speak really the pure word of God, never want to rub any feathers the wrong way, never want to upset anyone and never edify anyone either as a result. And these things do not glorify God. So the important thing is try to get some Christian fellowship. Many times in the past, it it had to be done through families or maybe close Christian friends. At any rate, I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. And if you have a question for me, you can send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail. Dot com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Don't forget to study the whole Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Study from Genesis through Revelation using my audio Bible messages. 33 plus years of archives are there for you. 
almost four complete series going through the Bible. Again, that is at thebibleversebyverse.com.